Hey JFam, coming to you from Nederland, Colorado. This is actually gonna be our ground base for at least the next month. And when I say ground base, I'm not talking about a home base, which is where van lifers might have a home that they can go back to, shower, cook in. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm actually just talking about staying in one specific location for a longer period of time. The first month in the van, while it can be beautiful and incredible, can also be kind of a jolt to the system. There's a lot of insecurities living on the road, as well as just constant decision making that has to happen. And I wanted to just give you guys a little glimpse into what that can look like. So these are some thoughts running through my brain on the day-to-day -day basis living in the van. The trash is piling up in the front again. Where's an ethical place I could dump that? Great, sink water tank's empty again. I wonder if this teeny town even has a water refill station. I am really hungry. I should cook a little something for myself. Wait, I can't use the sink for dishes if the gray water tank's full. Man, it's hot in here. Maybe I should go somewhere with AC and wait out the hot part of the day. So a lot of your day is spent just trying to get the bottom tiers of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, trying to get drinking water, places to sleep at night that you feel are safe, things like that. And this is why a lot of van lifers starting out report feeling chronically exhausted, kind of stuck in a brain fog, and it's because they're trying to figure out that routine and that system on a daily basis. Having a ground base can help you eliminate some of these main stressors and assimilate into the van life lifestyle with a little bit less stress. Staying anywhere for a month allows you to get a one month membership at a local gym. We chose a climbing gym, but obviously you could choose any kind of gym that you wanted. But the main part of a gym membership is the access to showers. Feeling clean and not having to worry about where you're gonna find that next shower is a really beneficial part of having a ground base. Figuring out a place to camp in the van can also be pretty stressful depending on the location you're in. Staying in one place longer allows you to scope out the different areas, find more camping, as well as what camping is reliable versus what might be all booked up. After a few weeks up here in Nederland, Colorado, we finally figured out our camping routine or our camping strategy. We know what times of day to come up here and to scope out campsites, and we also know what times of day it's just not even worth going up there. Like if it's a uh, seven o'clock on a Friday evening, there's not gonna be any camping spots. So then we know of backup camping spots. Now this is a really different story from when you're traveling quickly and you're trying to navigate completely new areas every single day. It just means that every time you get to that new location, you have have no idea most likely like what the strategies are for camping and stuff and some towns end up being extra hard to navigate for van lifers and you just can't tell until you get there so allowing yourself some time to actually have some scoped out campsites in an area can be really beneficial your ground base can also turn into a training base which was a very big personal reason of ours to choose a ground base we liked this area because it had mountain biking, it was 45 minutes from a rock climbing gym, there was pretty much limitless hiking, but Justin and I realized that after five months of building this van from the ground up, we had pretty much lost all of our physical fitness. We hadn't really allowed ourselves to keep up with those activities just because we were putting everything we had into this van. So that meant getting a climbing gym membership, making sure that we were getting into the climbing gym every other day and pushing ourselves hard. And then in our off days doing mountain biking, I'm kind of a baby mountain biker, so trying to get more comfortable with my bike, um, as well as rock gardens. Rock got gardens this. still it. scare me a lot. Control it. <laughs> nice bail. I suck. It's hard. Getting some repetition on trails instead of having to go to a brand new trail every single time has been really beneficial training wise for me. I've seen myself improving a lot. So in between all the climbing and the hiking and the biking, because we're trying to do one active thing every day, I am still trying to cram my work into all the nooks and crannies of the day. So sometimes when I wake up in the morning or sometimes while we're cooking at night, Justin will cook and I'll be editing. Uh, but that brings me to my next point, which is that a ground base or slower travel can be really helpful for remote workers. In the same way that it becomes easier to scope out camping, it becomes a lot easier to scope out and strategize your Wi-Fi connections, as well as just different places that you can work during the day. Not all of us can have Starlink. So in the past, when I went on my own van life adventures, I moved really fast. I was constantly looking for that next view, trying to meet up with a friend that was like 12 hours away or trying to find a unique adventure. Hey guys. And while that was definitely a rush, I realized that I missed out on experiencing locations from more of a local's perspective. So what does this place look like when you wake up there for a month versus when you wake up there for three days? What do you get to see, hear, and witness that you wouldn't have if you hadn't taken the time to slow down and really experience the place? as a home. <laughs> I still can't do it. Why? Why is it 
so hard. Being in one town longer also gives you the opportunity to potentially find different community events that are going on in the month that you're there. For example, we found out that the North American Bouldering Cup was happening in Vail just a few hours away. So we went up and experienced that. I got to watch one of my favorite climbers, Kyra Condi, just absolutely dominate this entire competition, which was incredible to witness. And then on top of that, as if it couldn't get any better, I got to meet face-to-face -face, Sasha Jillian, and it gets better than that. She gave me one of her granola bars, and I was like, girl, I'm sorry, I probably can't eat that. Gluten-free, and she was like, oh, I'm celiac. All of these are gluten-free, and I was like, whoa, I'm fangirling. And then she was like, have a nice time in your van, and I was like, thanks, you too, because I was nervous. That was fun times. Anyway, community events, fun. You can sometimes meet pro climbers, very cool. <laughs> So while I said that gas prices were not the reason behind us getting a ground base, they definitely were a large contributing factor. So as we watched the gas prices get higher and higher, we tried to think about how we could kind of reduce our gas spending, but also our overall carbon footprint. So obviously traveling less is better for the environment and better for our pocketbooks. So we tried to discover how we could experience cool and unique places, but then also decrease the overall amount of ground distance that we were going to be covering. So initially we thought, oh, we'll go on all the way through California and then all the way up through Montana and then we thought okay maybe we should just do Colorado and Wyoming and then get to Montana because it potentially means two thousand dollars less in gas spending so to kind of wrap up this video I realized this method of travel is not for anyone no one could have told me to slow down when I speed traveled the way that I used to but if you do try this method of travel and slow down a little bit notice how much more time opens up to partake in your hobbies or to work or to just self-care when you're not constantly trying to adjust to switching environments. Go ahead and subscribe if this content is something that is of value to you or if you like trees or dogs or ice cream or pizza, you should definitely subscribe. All right, I'm not in the business of wasting anyone's time, so that's the end of the video and I will see you in the next. Bye. Having a ground break, having a ground ba base, brace, base. Go, go. It's scary. It's not. The scaredness is in your face. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Pedal, pedal, pedal. pedal.